Hey, welcome to this VHF UHF radio um, video. And um, today we're going to talk a little bit about antennas for scanners and portable receivers. One thing that portable receivers um, lack generally when you buy them is a good antenna. And um, unfortunately, the uh, rubber ducky antennas that are with most scanners do an okay job, but they're not very, very good. They have to be wide band, which is very difficult, especially if you have, you know, all the ranges from 30 megahertz all the way up to the 800 megahertz bands. Uh, that little antenna is not always very good. It will be good at certain points, but it cannot be good everywhere. And especially in the low frequencies, the 30 megahertz, 40 megahertz, this little rubber ducky is really, really not very good at that. So I'll show you a few things that I have and that I use. First of all, this is the original rubber ducky that comes with most scanners. It's not with this one. This one does not come with a rubber ducky. It comes with a flexible antenna, more a metallic telescopic. But this is probably a good chance of what you have on most of scanners and maybe your scanner came with one of those. One thing you can do is search the web or go to uh, any electronic store that sells communication equip equipment and get antennas that will have different ranges. One that I like a lot is the uh, telescopics that are wide band. And I like those for one major reason. First of all, um, they are better at receiving signals than rubber duckies most of the time and also the fact that they actually are extendable and one thing that you'll learn when you're using one of these antennas is that the higher you go in frequency the shorter the antenna must be because you got to follow the um, wavelength of the frequencies you're listening to and having a telescopic antenna, a wideband telescopic, is interesting because, for example, if I listen to 30 megahertz, I'll have a full extent. But if I listen to 2 meters, I might actually short, shorten the antenna by one or two sections. So it's going to be more resonant at 150 megahertz. I'm listening to UHF signals around 450 megahertz. I'll shorten it some more, leave only a few extended uh, sections and if I listen to uh, you know, this receiver goes up to 3 gigahertz well at 3 gigahertz I'll have it fully closed because it's probably more resonant if it's small and so um, this is comes with experience a little bit what you what I, I, I would say that you should try is get one of those there's a lot of them on eBay by the way and they are uh, often written as telescopic scanner antennas going from um, you know 30 this one is rated 30 to 1300 megahertz this one I bought at Radio Shack many years ago and it's been a great companion the only thing you have to be careful when you buy an antenna is the connector most scanners today use BNC which is this type of connector uh, but be sure that you have the good connector for your antenna you can use an adapter but the best you can do is have the antenna with the good connector right away because if you add an adapter it does lower the signal the more adapters you put after an antenna the uh, less signal will get through to the radio because of the connection between each section um, so this is one interesting antenna there's uh, also small antennas with that look like mini discounts antennas with these little like a, an umbrella type uh, that are for 800 megahertz. Uh, having specialized antennas are, is also interesting if you're listening to signals on certain bands. For example, this one that I bought on eBay is made to actually resonate on the 2 meter and the uh, 70 centimeter amateur radio band. So this is made for the 2 meter amateur radio band from 144 to 148 and also for the 430 to 450 megahertz 70 centimeter amateur bands so if I'm listening to AM radio I might want to switch to this antenna that's going to give me much better signals on that band so having specific antennas for specific bands is also very very nice if you have a communications receiver like this one instead of a scanner 
Um, one thing that you might want to have also is um, directional antennas to uh, receive satellites, for example. That is something that I'm planning to get and actually maybe um, make one myself. And of course, uh, if I make a directional antenna for a satellite reception, uh, all the steps are going to be in the video. I'm going to show you how to do it the easiest way possible so you can make your own antenna for receiving satellites. So uh, these are all types of antennas for portables. Now, do you want to use an external antenna? One of the biggest problems I've seen with portable scanners is that uh, outdoor antennas, if you're in a big city, like here I'm in Montreal, uh, it's out of the question that I plug my big antenna on this. My outdoor antenna will overload the radio and it gets almost useless because there's just too many signals and the radio, if it gets too many strong signals, it's going to actually have a reverse effect. The uh, tuning circuits are going to become deaf and you won't be able to hear signals. So an outdoor antenna for a portable scanner is usually not a good idea unless you live in a uh, you know far area remote area where there's just no not too many signals if you do live in a remote area then an ex external antenna might be a very good idea because you'll be able to pick up lots of far away signals but if you live in a, in a big city forget about outdoor antennas on portable receivers uh, it's just going to overload uh, your scanner and your uh, communications receivers. So I uh, hope this little discussion helps. Uh, if you're looking for sources for antennas, well, just you know, look around. Here we have Radio World in Canada. We have uh, a Universal Radio in the United States. You have uh, also eBay, a great, great source of antennas on eBay. Uh, all sorts of antennas for scanners. And uh, like I said, try to just remember to have the good type of uh, connector for your radio. Uh, most scanners have BNC but I've seen others with uh, different types of connectors so make sure you have the good one. Hope this discussion helped and uh, 73.